All that to come. Rachel's here with some breaking news from the Met. Yes, they have decided to reopen the investigation, Kay, into the deaths of those two little girls, eight-year-old girls, who were killed at the study prep school last July in Wimbledon, south-west London, when a four-by-four crashed past a fence and went onto the playground, eventually ending up in the school walls. You can see the pictures there from the scene. That was this. That was last July. It was the last day of term, and the girls were out on the grass there, enjoying an end of term tea party, party as a way of celebrating the start of the summer holidays. But a number of them were injured, and tragically, two little girls lost their lives. They were Selena Lau and Nuria Sajid. Now, their families were quite critical, Kay, of the Metropolitan Police's investigation after this awful incident. There was a decision earlier this year to tell the driver of the car, which was a Land Rover Defender, that no big further car. action... A big, big car, car, big black car. You could see it on those screens there, on the pictures earlier. It obviously had a devastating impact in a part of London as well, which actually feels more like the countryside. It's small roads, there's not a lot of traffic, and obviously this would have come completely out of nowhere for those children, those girls and the teachers who were out enjoying a picnic on the grass. Um, as I said, police decided to tell the driver that no further action would take place earlier this year. The families, though, said that they were unconvinced that the investigation was conducted thoroughly. We understand that the Crown Prosecution Service said that Claire Fremantle, the driver, had suffered an epileptic fit behind the wheel, and that's why there would be no further... In there was no further action. And she has publicly in the past expressed her profound sorrow, her deepest sorrow, saying that she had no recollection of what took place. But it looks as though there has been some development at the Metropolitan Police because we've now had a statement saying that they are going to review... Uh, well, they've had a review. It's identified a number of lines of inquiry that they say require further examination and, as such, the investigation will be reopened. They've told the families who have welcomed this news publicly this morning and they say they will be kept updated with the developments. And a few more details came from the police. They say the investigation will be uh, conducted by an accredited senior investigating officer and a team with them as well, with experience in homicide investigations. OK. Benai, thank you.